Do you think it's gonna work? Anglerfish fossil, here we go. I'm gonna try your idea. Alright. I'm gonna try it your idea. Like, it might just be nothing because it sounds really annoying to run around with this thing in your vision all the time, but okay. We also have to read the log because I'll we have a new thing. Sun station! Yeah, and I think you can take your time here because, like, if the cycle is 22 minutes, this yeah. doesn't count. I think it's lift off. I, the sun I station was designed to make the sun go supernova. They fired the sun station, but it had no effect. It could never cause the sun to go supernova. Then they took a break to investigate the newly arrived comet. According to a Nomai computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. So it's not the comet, that's just a coincidence? I don't think so. I think they, the Nomai did put the comet on a crash course to the sun. Hmm. I think that's what that, uh, that Nomai shuttle was for. Hmm. And I think maybe the third person on the shuttle didn't know that. Maybe he didn't know that that's what they were actually doing there. Entirely possible. <laughs> Alright. So they need to explode the sun to create enough energy to go, to, back, to in go time back in time for 22 minutes. That's how much... Because, like, the energy they have is enough for, like, a milli, milli, microsecond, basically. So the energy required to actually go back in time 20 minutes is explode the sun. <laughs> but uh, what I still don't understand what 22 minutes into the past is going to get them. Why? Because then you can do it again. And then you can do it again. And then you can do it again. And then you can go back in time for how long you like. You go back in time 20 minutes. Only as long 20 as minutes back in time, you go back in time another 22 minutes. Yeah, but you can only go back again if 22 minutes ago you explode the sun, but you don't. Right. You had never set up everything you need to explode the sun again, so I failed to see how you could do that until a time you wanted to be at, if that makes sense. Well, if, if setting everything up takes less than 22 minutes, then you could do it over and over again. Right? Like, if you need something like Sun Station to do it, right? You're gonna go back eventually in time to a time before that existed, so, you know? Oh, you th oh, you th oh you're talking time paradoxes. I guess. But they didn't need Sun Station for it. Sun Station was a failure. Yeah, but if that was the idea... They didn't know it was going to be a failure. They thought they were going to use it. Like, I'm, I'm not sure I'm following, but okay. I might just be dumb. Or I might just be lacking critical information here on the purpose of all of this. I think it's related to what we see at the beginning of each cycle, where someone fires a gravity cannon out into space. Maybe that's the plan, right? Maybe someone just needs to do thing, thing. We don't know what yet. But they need like an infinite amount <laughs> of attempts before they can do it successfully. Mm -hmm. Is that it? I don't know. Is I that really, is that what's happening I here? I really don't know. But it sounds like sometimes I have these dreams when I'm sick. Uh huh. These repetitive dreams where I'm trying to do something and failing it over and over again. But we're not talking like a big thing, just a motion. Like it's sometimes it's cutting parsley, but I always miss the parsley. <laughs> and, cutting parsley. And sometimes it's when I was working in the microbiology lab, it was counting plates in the incubator, but I'm never done. It's like Sisyphean tasks. Man infinite infinite countings infinite choppings it's just never done you never need. done okay so this is the anglerfish overlook mm -hmm. you are saying i should go here mm -hmm. and i think you should fire your scout launcher okay and, and leave it there leave it there don't even take a snapshot why are you doing that oh you're right that's that gonna be in my way annoying i just realized you don't have to that's in your 
Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. Yeah, and now I want you to go to the cave while oh, wait, you what? do this. Oh, it dropped down? Oh, I can see it! What? Down there! That's the cave! Yes, but... Cool! Okay, 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 okay. okay. Do it. Launch it there again. Yep. Okay, fine. Okay. And now... And now you make a beeline. Okay. You know, I did... Did I ask you that earlier? I've been wondering. We, we have been using the word make a beeline. But what I don't understand about this is that it kind of is used to indicate that you go straight for something. But have you ever seen a bee that just goes straight for some for something? But do you think beelining is related to bees? Do you think it's a beeline, like as in the letter? No, because the letter B is not straight. <laughs> no, so it's very squiggly. I know, so that makes no sense. Is this a cave? Pretty sure it is, but I can't... Yeah. Okay. All right, now, scout. Oh. 78 meters to the left. Understood. I'm gonna follow this beacon. Do it. Okay. It's up. It's up, okay. What, it's here? It's straight up. Oh, dude! Do you think I can fly there? I don't know. Oh. I, mean, I missed, I missed. Theoretically, yes. Ah, ah, I missed. Okay, do you think I can do this? Yes. I'm gonna try it again, and this time I'm not gonna bungle it. Uh-huh. <gasps> did it. Ah! All right. All and we're in time. Right. We're in time. Read it. I'm reading it. Whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Mm -hmm. Whoever was it. Rule change. The anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes a little fish. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Hmm. Rule update, it's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. Well, anglerfish are blind. They're blind? So how... So I guess they just wait for something to fly in there and then... And then how did it find us? Wait, there's something there. Ah! Thank you. Thank you. Well, we just flew into it, I think. Anglerfish study. This anglerfish digestive tract suggests death by starvation. An update. Mallory, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it uses growth to attract prey, a lure. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish in Dark Bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. There's more stuff to the right. Well, this just seems like an exit. Maybe. It oh, is. yeah. Okay, cool. Then up. Then up. If there is more up. That Looks might like just it. be the ceiling. Oh, it's just the ceiling. Well, all right then. So, uh... So we really just avoid the lights no i don't think that's it what is it then i think it's that it's blind yeah so so it finds us by sound do we have to keep quiet when we're close to an angler fish but how do we keep quiet by not using our engines <gasps> do you just wait until it goes away maybe maybe that's it Maybe we just have to be quiet when we're close to an anglerfish. Ooh. That could be it, right? Yeah. Do you want to try it? Yes. Because there's enough time in this loop to oh, go to yeah, Dark Bramble. Sure. We're, we're eight minutes in. So... I can go to Dark Bramble. Should I go up to Chert and refuel? Nah. You're so close to your ship. Yeah, you're right. Wee. Dark. Wah, 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 wah. 
We're good. Dark Bramble. Dark Bramble. We have to try it. All right. Oh, oh, uh, before liftoff, there's the view map thing. I think that's how we select where we go. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Um. <laughs> but I, 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 okay, let's see if we can just see Dark Bramble. Yes. It is fortunately very easy to spot from a distance. All right, we're gonna have to manually steer. Do I? Yeah, or currently you're kind of on a collision course with... What is that? Is that's uh, that's uh, Timber Hearth. Timber Hearth? Yeah. All right, I'll abort out of autopilot. Yeah. yeah. All right, there you go. Okay, this is gonna suck. <laughs> I don't want to go in there. Mm -hmm. But that's where the vessel is. Before we go in there, is there something on the surface you think? No, we flew, we flew around before and looked All at right, the surface. We couldn't remember. see anything. Yeah, so we just go in there. And then we have to, whenever we're close to an anglerfish, we have to just stop the engines. We'll see if that works. And be quiet. Let's try it. Okay, I hate everything about this. Yep. But how do we know which of these lights is an anglerfish and which is just light? The anglerfish are white. There is so much white. So we're going for red. I think. Well then stop. Oh, this is so creepy. Yep, that's another... That's another hole to go through. I like red. I think white is the anglerfish. I think red is where we're supposed to go. Mm -hmm. But that's just a theory. Okay, then don't use your engines right now. I see one. Do not. I see two. I'm not sure. I think if we bonk into this, it's gonna eat us, but okay. It's so fucking scary. I, I am supposed... Yeah, no, they're, they're not seeing us. I am not using my engines. I'm just letting this go oh God, slowly. Noises. <sighs> oh, God, this is so... Do you think we're going to stop eventually? We are moving. We're not moving fast. We are but moving. we are moving. I think. I God. think we're moving. Are we moving or have we stopped? Yes, we are moving very, very slowly. You can occasionally see at the edges of our vision things. Do you think it's safe to go forward a bit? Thrust a bit? I don't know. Should I use my thruster? You can try, but I'm very scared. I feel like we've almost stopped. Okay. <gasps> There's one that's very close, so... Down there? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> Oh, shit. It's gonna eat us. Yeah. Uh, okay, no thrusters. No thrusters. Maybe I'll thrust just a little bit right in, in the beginning. Yeah, well, To give us enough push away. forward and then and then not do anything. Oh, God, this is so scary. Mm -hmm. I'll do a little loop. I'll do a little, a little push right in the beginning. Just a little nudge to get us going. Mm -hmm. But we know now, the white... Or anglerfish. The red is where we're supposed to go. All right. We can do this. Let's see what our ship log says. Let's see what our ship log says. Whee! Anglerfish fossil. That's all. Still says there's more to explore in the Sunless City. Fascinating. Um, yep. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across to the other side. Is that also a clue? That we're, we're supposed to like go along the walls instead of in the middle of the thing? I don't know. I do not know. We shall find out. Once more, doing it without a map. Once more doing it without a map. 
it's fine. Remember to stop steering. You are okay, yeah, sun collision course, sun. No, I don't think I am, but gravity. okay. Gravity. Fine. Fine, you might have been right. Ah, we cleared the sun. Okay. Hmm. One more time. Dark Bramble. Really gonna try now. So, in the beginning, when we're not close to them, I'll just do a little push. Mm. A little nudge. And hopefully that's enough thrust uh, to get us to our destination. Yep. Okay, once again. Once again. Goddamn negative space. I hate it. Okay. So the plan is boost in, hope to be carried far enough from the initial boost because once we get close to these things, oh, they're gonna get you. Yeah, no boosters inside. But the problem is, I have to, I think I have to boost a bit harder than I did here because it's not exactly enough to carry me the entire way. Yeah, but try to let it carry you as far as you possibly can. I think you were a bit... I think I could have boosted a bit more in the beginning. Mm. Now I am still moving forward, but very slowly. I think it's fine. I think... There's the thing. Yeah, we're getting closer. You can see that we're getting closer. I know that it's very slow, but I think we have to be patient here. I am almost at a standstill here. You are not. You just have to watch at the edges. You can see that we're moving. Yeah, we're moving, but at some point, like... When I, when I get through this and we go to the next area, I'm gonna boost harder. Mm. I think you're fine. Do you think we can even now see the red dot? See no. which direction we're supposed to boost in? Because we're aiming for red. I think so, anyway. I don't know. I see it. It's in right in the middle. Smack dab in the middle is the red. And there's three anglerfish right next to it, so... Well, they're actually pretty close. Well, we'll see, because sometimes when you go, go through the thing, it doesn't, like, align properly, so it's actually a bit different when you get through it. We'll see. Because, th see, there's a cut. Now we're in a new area. Mm-hmm. No, there. See? Yeah, there's an anglerfish right here. You can't boost out of here. But what if I go back out and then go in again? Let's see if that works. Yeah, it changed. It is procedurally generated. Okay, do I boost for red? It's either procedurally generated, yes. And stop. Let's see if this is enough. I did, oh no. If you do need to, to actually use the booster, try to keep it at like the lowest setting. Okay, this should be enough. This should be enough boost to take us to the next level. Mm. It either resets and is procedurally generated, or there is multiple possible exits. I don't think so. I think it resets. Uh, which means we can actually sort of bullshit the game a bit. And, and fiddle with it in the early stages. Right. Until we get like an opening that we like. The problem is I'm close to one now, but I'm not close to any entrance holes in this. Yeah, but you're drifting to the left, so I think if you... If you play your cards right. Oh no, that's gonna slow me down. I bumped, but it didn't make a sound. Mm -hmm. We're good, we're good. We have to go inside the thing. Yeah, but you can wait until you're right next to the entrance and then do it. But that. I am such an impatient person. But I'm not, so you just have to, to trust me mm, okay. about the patience and, and how it's a virtue and whatnot. Gotcha. So, I go in. Not yet. Not yet? What about now? Yeah. I go in? Yeah. I go in. Okay. I feel like you're gonna be emerging close to anglerfish again. There's... We'll see. New Fish. area? There. No, I'm gonna... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. back out. Go, go out. Go out. Go out. Ah, and it's reset. 
Now. Hard boost. And this should be enough. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Okay. I don't know how many of these we have to do. I don't know either. I hope... Where are we even going? I think the vessel is in here. Alright. I think the no my vessel is in here. Can you get it signal? <sighs> no, I just gotta keep on doing this. Well, I feel like you should try once we're at the next red thing to see if we can get the <sighs> signal. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just bumping into it over and over again. It's slowing me down. <laughs> You're still moving? But I'm, this is, honey, this is so stressful. I know that it's stressful. I'm trying to calm you down by saying it's still moving. You're okay. Am I though? Yes. All right. We're not in, in sprint distance yet, so that's okay. You're okay. No, I think if I go now, I won't make it in time. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I have to wait until I'm closer. Yep. Okay. And then go in. God, and this calm music here is just lying. It's lying to us. Okay. You think this is close enough? Maybe. Oh. Yeah, I heard a grumbling behind me. Okay. And before you. I'm going out. I'm going out. I'm going out. Oof. Okay. <laughs> hey, try to use your signal scope. Wait. Okay, this is good. Yeah, signal scope. Before you go... No, no, no. Okay. And then go for <clears throat> distress beacon. No. Uh, no, I, this is too stressful. I don't want to do this. All right, I'm I sorry. just want to go for it. I was just like, maybe if we can find the ship in here, maybe it's not through the red thing. It's 100% guaranteed the red thing. Okay. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's moving. I see it. Oh god, it's so close. Oh no. Mm -hmm. We're going for down? No. No? The right side, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna go behind this thing. And in. <sighs> okay, this is good. In here. Yeah, I hear you, but you're not mm. getting me. Ah! Gotta go back out! Okay. <laughs> it's moving. It's going somewhere else, interestingly. Okay. Okay. Think this is good? Yeah. yeah. Are you stressed? Oh, I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed too. I'm so stressed. I'm so nervous. I don't even the know. The longer we go, the stresseder I am. The stressor. Yeah, the more stressed. That's a word. Yeah. No, this, is go this is going really good. I am so stressed. I am, I am the stress. This stressed. is, oh lord. Are we finally by the vessel? Are we... Oh, no. Are we vesseling? No, still not in. But there is a limit. We don't have infinite time in these loops. What? You are How was that fair? Okay, can I go back to my theory that we are not resetting? This is not procedurally generated. We're going to different places. 